hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial on this tutorial you will see how we can save queries data from postgres to csv you will check three different methods the first one is using pg admin the second one is using the terminal or the command prompt and the third one will be using a script meaning a programming language so let's get started with pg admin PG admin is the official user interface for Postgres SQL. So PG admin is famous among beginners, data analysts, and usually in the development phase of a certain, let's say web or mobile application. So to get started with PG admin, we will first of all check that our server is running on the mac os we can just check that by clicking on this elephant right here and we can see this green icon so we can go to servers i will click on this arrow and we will straightly go to databases the database that we want to get data from is this one right here crypto db so let's right click on it and open the query tool this database has a table let's check the data inside of this table so i will select all from the table which is crypto table and i will run my script and as you can see here is our data so let's add a condition here and say where price USD which is this column right here is greater than 100 so if I run this again we can see that we have only 10 entries or 10 records so now that we have our data how can we download it using pg admin to do that it's very easy we just go to this icon right here click on it and then choose a name for our file we will just call it pg admin data.csv and this .csv is very important at the end and let's just choose a folder in my case i will leave it in downloads so I will click on save and I can see that the file is already downloaded I will just open it I will make this bigger and we can see that the download has been successful now let's pass to the second method which is using the terminal so I will go to our terminal and for us to use the terminal we would use psql or psql which stands for postgres sql so when we download and install a postgres server on our system it comes with this command which is psql and if you want to know more about psql we can just write psql dash dash help and that displays all the commands that this allows us to do so if i scroll to the top meaning right here we can read that PySQL or PySQL is the postgres sql interactive terminal we basically use this to do anything we usually do using pg admin we can connect to a database do some queries insert data retrieve data and all of that so in our case what we are interested in is to connect to the database for that we use the lowercase d flag which is this one right here and as you can read right here it's used usually for the database name that you want to connect to we will also need the user which is if i go down this one uppercase u as you can read it says the database user which is the name of the user basically by default it's mac 
but for our case it's not mac that's not the database you'll be using so we need to use it and also the same case for the the d flag by default it says mac so if the database that we want to log to is mac we don't need to pass this flag and we'll also need the uppercase w which stand for force password prompt so let's start psql dash lowercase d the name of our database which is crypto db then dash uppercase u the name of the user in my case it's amin and dash uppercase w to enforce the password i will hit enter it will ask me for the user's password i will enter it and they will hit ok and notice here that this one changed we are now logged into the crypto database and basically we can perform a lot of commands from here there are a lot of them and it needs an entire course to cover them we will just use what we need for our tutorial and that is to save the data to the queries data to a csv so if you want to know the name of the tables inside of this database we need to use backslash dt if i hit enter you can see this little table popping up and you can see that we have only one table named crypto table if you want to query some data what we can do is write sql code directly so select let's say all from crypto table where price usd is greater than 100 and if we run that we can see that we have the same queries let's say the same data as before and we can check this data if we go to pg admin and it's the same one so how can we save this data for that we use the backslash copy command so we type backslash copy in between parentheses we type the sql code so select all from crypto table where price usd is greater than 100 note that in here we passed a semicolon we don't do that in here and then we would say two and we would pass in the path on our system in my case it's users slash let me start this with a slash users slash mac slash downloads slash the name of the file in this case i will call it terminal data dot csv the first one we called it pg admin data because we got it from pg admin this one we call it terminal data just so, just so we can differentiate them and the last one i will basically call script data or something then i will type csv to explicitly tell it that we want a csv file and then we pass the delimiter the limiter which is in my case this one so let me get this little bit bigger for you so you can see so we said backslash copy we passed our sql code then to then the path basically we want it to be saved in the downloads folder and this is the name of the file we explicitly said that we want a csv file and we pass the delimiter of the csv so if i hit enter we can see that copy 10 meaning it copied 10 
records so if I go to my finder and we can see we have two files the first one is a pg admin data .csv file and second one is terminal data .csv if we open the terminal data .csv we can see it's the same file and you can check the name in here terminal data so we are correct now we can pass to the third and last method which is using a script for that i will use vs code which is my text editor of choice so this is something that i already covered in a previous video and i will cover it again in here to basically save data from a see from a database to let's say a file like csv using code we usually use something called a driver or an orm in our case we will use an orm with python the orm we will be using is sql alchemy and we will also use pandas to facilitate the whole process so we will create a new python file we will call it something like postgres to let's say csv.py and let's get started so let me go back to my terminal let me quit this connection using backslash q let me clean the screen using control l and that we need three packages pip install sql alchemy which is this one we'll also use pandas and the third one is psycho pg2 we need psycho pg2 like i covered on my previous video because sql alchemy uses psycho pg2 so for my case i will install it in the python 3.10 version so i will type i will explicitly type it python 3.10-m pip install and so on if i hit enter we can see that all the requirements are satisfied meaning i already installed these packages i will go back to vs code and start coding so the first thing is from sql alchemy import the create engine and also we need to import pandas as pd now we need to create our connection so for that you will call it engine equal create engine and in here we would pass a bunch of variables as you can see right here it will be the same format so the first thing we would pass is the name of the database type or the name of the database which is the dialect in our case it's postgres and since we are using psycho pg2 as a driver we don't need to explicitly say it so after that we will pass the name of the user in my case it's Amin. after that we need to pass the password of the user so the password i created for this user is one two three four after that we need to say if this database is installed locally or on a server it's local host meaning this is the meaning saying that the database is installed locally in case it's on a server we need the ip address and then the name of the database in our case it's crypto db and in here i think it's postgres sql so after that we need to basically use pandas to pass a certain sql code and get back the data let's call it a df which is data frame and let's get our data so pd dot read sql query 
and in here we pass our SQL query as first parameter and for that select select all from crypt to table where price USD is greater than 100 and then we need to pass the engine which is this one right here now that our data will be saved in this data frame variable we can now close the connection and for that we pass engine dot dispose and this is very important otherwise we may come across a lot of errors in our code then we will just use the two csv method on a panda data frame so df dot two csv we will give it a path and a name i want it to be saved on the same directory so i will just give it a name and i will call it script data dot csv which is very important to mention and then i will set the index equal false i will save our code and let's run it python i will use the 3.10 version and i will pass the name of the file so note in here we don't have a file we only have the our basically our python file we don't have a csv file so when i run the code we can see that a file appeared if i click on it we can see that we have our data so for more on this method which is basically used in etl pipelines you can check my previous video where i talked about sql alchemy as well as psycho pg2 which is a driver that sql alchemy uses so this method is the most preferred because like i mentioned it's used in etl pipelines and it can you can basically just write a file that does exactly what you want and leave it on a server if we go back to the terminal okay so the code is here this method is used to ssh in a server basically you have a database inside of a server and you want to access it and then perform some queries this is the method to go but this one is way preferred because it's more clean and even data analysts can use it and people like that you don't need to have let's say a technical knowledge of linux and all those kind of stuff. so thank you for watching i will leave all the code i used in this video on my blog which will be linked in the description i hope you found something useful and thank you for watching and see you on the next video thank you